Hello again everyone, this is Christine and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Piano Marvel. Now, this is not a review video, I will be doing a review of Piano Marvel, but I haven't used it before. So I wanted to just do a quick intro video. This is the first time I'm really opening Piano Marvel and taking a look at it and I wanted to give you my first impressions. So I've downloaded it from the app store here, you can see it, it's blue on the right, bottom right here. Before I start, I want to give you full disclosure that I had a wonderful conversation with the creators of Piano Marvel, that would be uh, Aaron and Heidi. And I had a phone call with them yesterday because they reached out to me. Since I mentioned on my channel a while ago that I tried to join their affiliate program and I never heard back from them. And some of you wonderful folks out there reached out to them and let them know and it turns out that their affiliate form was broken on their website. So if you've ever wanted to be an affiliate for Piano Marvel, uh, I recommend you go check it out and fill out their affiliate form on their website now because it's working. <laughs> but they got in touch with me thanks to some of the commenters on the channel. I really appreciate that. They're such a lovely couple. They're a family, mostly family owned business and we spent about an hour on the phone talking about a bunch of different things, not just the app. We actually didn't spend too much time going through the app itself because they wanted me to be able to try it out and get my impression without them kind of guiding me through it, which I think is probably the best approach so I can give you my true feelings about it. But we did talk about Aaron's background as a piano teacher. The app has been around for 12 years. So as far as I know, it's the oldest piano teaching app out there. They say it has more content than any of the other apps that I've looked at so far. I don't know yet, but I will take, be taking a look and telling you about that in my review video, which will be coming very soon. Okay, so first impressions of the app. There's a lot here and I'm not exactly sure where to start. I don't typically spend a lot of time in the song library, so I'm just gonna skip that for now. Let's look at method. All right, so on the top here we have the library, which is the song library, method, technique, the SASR and reports. Now I did learn what the SASR was on my call with Heidi and Aaron and it is a standard, I forget what it stands for. The SR stands for sight reading though. So it's a test you can take to see how good you are at sight reading. So I do wanna try that while we're on this video because I have a feeling I'm not very good. But they use it at piano conferences, competitions, things like that where all kinds of students and pianists and professors and teachers all gather together and compete on some of these things. So I think that is really cool and I'm gonna try that out later. Okay, so one thing they did mention, you can see there all the different lessons in here. It looks like you can set some goals. There's a lesson video. Okay, so this is teaching you about the app a little bit. Step towards learning music is rhythm. Mastering rhythm will prepare okay. you to play the songs you love. In method 1A. Okay, so they're nice. Looks like little short videos, one minute long. They did also mention to me there are PDFs for all of their lessons. This is very cool. I haven't seen this in any of the other apps yet. So I will be going through this. They said you can print this out. It's all free if you have the premium edition of the app so you can download it. Method, technique. Ooh. Okay, so it switches up at the top too. Another thing that I should mention is I'm using the iPad version. It is also online and the online version has more. So when they release new features, they go onto the web browser version. So I think I could probably get to the web browser version on my iPad, but I, the app features are added later. And I think they're working on catching everything up into the app as well. But they, when they do new features, they try them out on the browser version first. So you may want to keep that in mind. I mentioned that I like everything to be portable, but in the future we may take a look at the browser version using the iPad. How to take the SASR. Standard assessment of sight reading. The standard assessment of sight reading there we is go. the first test of its kind designed to quantify your ability to sight read. All right, that's a four minute video. We're not gonna watch all of that. Let's just try it. I'm obviously a beginner. Song will start in 17 seconds. Okay, I haven't used this app, so I don't even know if they have scrolling or what. But it's obviously it C's and C's. Oh, this is, this is a little nerve wracking. Oh, okay. It wants my MIDI device. I didn't think about that because I don't use that with Tom Play, since it doesn't actually listen to what I'm playing. Piano. 
I don't want virtual piano. I don't want it to play songs for me. Oh, very cool. One, two, three. I do? Oh, it's telling me I missed it. Am I playing the wrong note? Oh, I'm playing the wrong note. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. You guys must have noticed that it's before I even started. No, I want to try again. That was terrible. Oh, well now they think I'm dumb. So now I'm just doing the, the right hand instead. Oh, he did mention that if you perform poorly, like I got a strike, you can see in the upper left corner that they One, two, that they lower the level for you. Okay, that was way better. <laughs> that was there. I can't believe I did that. Uh, I like this counting. Okay, now we're going to play with the other hand. Yeah, yeah, I screwed up at the beginning. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. It shows you kind of how far off you were. Like I was, I got the first note right, but I, for some reason I was thinking I needed to count to four before playing the second note. Hmm. All right. I got another strike. Taking a break here, on my call with the owners of the app, they also mentioned that some people just spend all their time in here. I think they said they had one person who has done this, uh, done this SASR test something like 600 times, which I think if you're trying to sight read, this is probably doing this over and over again is probably a good way to, to get better at it. All right, this is kind of fun. I'm gonna keep doing this until I get my third strike so I can see what my score is, which I know is gonna be terrible, but that's all right. Oh, they took away my bass line again. You're really terrible. One, two, set, go. I swear I can play better than this. G is. But it's still counted. What do some of these things do? Okay, the metronome is off. That's fine. 
Maybe we should turn it on. Looks like you can go between speakers. Let's continue do. Oh, it does the same thing as clicking next at the bottom. One, two, set, go. Oh, I'm doing the wrong notes again. <sighs> that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was my third strike. Okay, that's probably for the best. I know I could do much better than I just did, but I'm gonna try it some and then do another video on this, I think. This is really cool. I'm excited to, to work with this. Even just, I just realized that glancing at some of the bass notes, there's still some, it's been a while since I've had to remember the note names, and there's still some that I look at it and I'm like, oh, what note is that? What note is that? <laughs> okay. This is great. Yes, we'll exit. One, six, seven. I feel like I started myself at a nice low level, so I can pretty much only go up from here. And then we have reports here. Ah, they did mention that this app is used by teachers. So I won't have any of my students or my classes, but that is pretty cool. Okay, so you can set your instrument information here. Is there a video for each? We got a video on getting started, and if you go into each, looks like they have a video for each lesson. Prepare, then you can ha be assessed. That's great, what's the chart? Oh, okay, so there's target times. Okay, I'm looking forward to getting into this. Now, I was told as well that you cannot outgrow Piano Marvel, that there's tons of stuff in here, and he, people who are professional pianists, I'm not sure, but who are teachers, still use the app for themselves. So, let's see, what else? That was just, okay, so this brings me to the SASR, the sight reading one. And technique, we also saw when I clicked method, the technique was in there too. So there you are, my first impressions of Piano Marvel. I'm very excited to check it out. After talking with them yesterday, I was already pretty excited, but now that I've seen the SASR test and all the different videos and techniques and methods that they have in there, I really like the theory. And I think I've mentioned this before, playing the songs is obviously fun and I wanna be able to play and sing for you. And I think that obviously that's everybody's goal when they learn piano is to be able to play and sing. But for me, I wanna know the underlying theory and technique behind everything I'm doing. And part of why I did this channel was to see, is it possible to have good method, good technique, learning through apps and not having a teacher? And so, this will just be another one of the apps that I'm going to try out to see if it will help me along in that journey. And I know you guys will keep me honest and you'll comment down below when I do things wrong. And I want to mention, by the way, since I said that, I know that I'm sitting too low for this piano. It's because of the size stool that I have and this is just on a metal stand. I, when I normally am practicing on my own, I sit on a pillow as well to raise my arm up a little bit above the keys where it's supposed to be. So when you see me on here, I know it's not perfect, but as I've said a million times, I'm not trying to be a concert pianist, but I would like to be able to play properly. So please stay tuned because I will be using Piano Marvel a lot more in the coming weeks so that I can learn all the different aspects of it, put together an outline and a formal review for you guys, and you'll be able to check that out. Also, if you're interested in using Piano Marvel yourself, I will put a link down in the description below and instructions for how to sign up. You can use uh, the link that I provide you. It gives you a 20% discount and it also gives me a little bit of commission. So that is greatly appreciated. But of course, I will always give you my honest opinions about these apps and I hope you enjoy. So we will catch you next time. Bye-bye.